Hello, everybody. Today we are going to be showing you in Aqua Data Studio how to improve your SQL. And uh, my name is Darren Fulmer. I'm a sales engineer with uh, IDERA on the uh, Aqua Data Studio product line. So today's agenda. Uh, we're going to go ahead and show you in the tool how to build SQL queries uh, by dragging and dropping uh, your objects into the query builder. Uh, allows you to uh, build your query without actually having to type code. Uh, it's very useful for people that are not familiar with uh, writing SQL or if it's a very complex SQL, how uh, the tool will handle it for you so that you don't have to worry about any of the syntaxes. Uh, we're also going to touch on the debugging features within Aqua Data Studio uh, that allow show you how to run your queries uh, by stepping over, pausing, adding breakpoints to um, help uh, improve your stored procedures. Uh, we are also going to analyze SQL queries uh, by displaying the results as text, grids, charts, and even execution plans so that you can uh, see how it's running. Uh, also, the uh, we're going to go ahead and access the history of our run SQL queries uh, so that you can um, see what you have been running uh, so that you can re-execute them if uh, it's something you're doing a lot of or if somebody just wants you to rerun something you did last week. Uh, you can uh, do editing and also for audit trails. All right, so with that, let's go ahead and just get into the product and we'll start with showing you how to build your SQL queries. So here I'm bringing up uh, Aqua Data Studio and for uh, With Aqua Data Studio uh, to be able to. Sorry, I, I'm on a VPN and uh, my screens are a little slow in populating. So, um, with building SQL queries, uh, what you want to do is bring up your query builder. And the easiest way to do that is to actually just select your database. So we're going to go ahead and in our server window, select your database. I'm going to pick my uh, SQL server here. And then what you would do is just uh, scroll through your uh, item, your tables. Let's see. We'll go ahead and pick a table out of uh, test. And we're going to go ahead and right click on it. And we're going to go ahead and launch your query builder. So your query builder has launched. And as you can see, uh, it has already populated uh, your database and your tables. From here, what you can easily do is just drag your table over into the space here in the center. And it will go ahead and bring you the structure of your table. And if you look down into the lower portion of the screen, you can see here it's already started to create your SQL for you. Now let's go ahead and add another table, drag it and drop it. And you can see here that has been added to your SQL as well. Uh, if you notice in these simple tables, uh, there is cart number in both tables. So let's go ahead and add a join. Uh, you can just simply click on it and drag it over and join. And you can see here in the SQL that your join has uh, been uh, added. Now, if you want, you can execute from here. So we're going to go up here to the green arrow and we can execute that SQL statement. Now the data will display here in the grid. Uh, we can look at the SQL statement. Nice thing about this is you can also just copy and paste that SQL into 
whatever form you need to share it. Uh, again, the advantages of the the um, query builder is that um, it does the work for you. So again, if you're not familiar with SQL Server or writing SQL code, you can just let the tool do it for you. Or if you have an extremely complex uh, statement, uh, you can drag and drop. It will take care of all of the typing and syntaxing for you and it helps speed up your day-to-day -day, uh, focus on, on what you're doing. All right, so um, from what we can do here is demonstrate the debugging features within Aqua Data Studio. Now to debug some of your code, what you can do is again, we're gonna go ahead and select our database. So we're gonna go ahead and select SQL Server here. Uh, we're gonna go down to um, Aquafold. And from here, uh, we have our stored procedures. As you can see, they're, they're displayed here. Uh, for, um, for purposes of just time, I just have a very simple stored procedure uh, within uh, my table. But um, what you do is you just right click on your stored procedure. And what you do is come down to debug in your procedure debugger. Click on that. And then uh, we'll have a window pop up in our workspace. And there's our stored procedure. Now within the stored procedure window, you have several uh, features that you can use. Uh, you can execute, you can step into, you can step over, and you can even step return and add toggle breakpoints. Uh, down below, you'll see we have several uh, windows here that you have uh, data being displayed, and that'll be your console, your breakpoints, your variables, your watches, your stack frames, and your profile. So variables you can change and make adjustments. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and add a couple of breakpoints. So to add your breakpoints is very simple. You just find the space here in between the num the line number and your your statement, and just left click. Bring adds a breakpoint here, and you can see it highlights it. Uh, you can go ahead and add a second breakpoint if you like. Now from here, you can go ahead and run your step over. And I'll just go ahead and display that. So when you actually execute, What you'll see here, again, the VPN is causing uh, So we have our, our breakpoint set. And as you can see here, this is uh, the standard mode. And your standard standard mode is uh, in uh, the white display. As you saw earlier, I was in the dark theme. It's just easier on my eyes. Uh, but you can see where the the your breakpoints are toggled. And then when you execute, you're going to go ahead and click your execution and you're going to get your execute window here. Now, if you notice here, we have our step over. You can see uh, down below, you have your console, your breakpoints are listed. And you can see the highlighted uh, breakpoints in your code as well. 
and here we've executed. And you have your messages down below uh, next to your pivot grid. All right, so what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna go ahead and jump back into the product. All right, so again, once you've executed, you have your breakpoints and your variables and you can uh, list your profiles. All right, so another, uh, So what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna move on to analyzing your SQL queries uh, by displaying the text grids, charts, and ex ex uh, execution plans. So here I have my SQL server. And what you can do is in your query window, at the top, if you select query, You can run your uh, query analyzer. And here I have uh, several statements in my SQL Server query window. And I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and execute. So down below what you can see here is we have our execution plan. So the execution plan is letting you know how your SQL is running through your database. You also have your grid, which is your, your standard uh, display showing you all the data that has been returned from executing those queries. Uh, and you can also see it here as a text format. And then you can, uh, from these locations, what you can do is you can go ahead and you can export that information into a spreadsheet. You can also open it up into a visual analytics workbook so that you can um, visually display that data and share it. Uh, and what you can, you just click on your visual analytics workbook. And what that will do will open up you, open up a visual analytics window, which is a floating window. And from here, you can go ahead and then populate your, your columns and rows, display your data. There is the visualization option, which allows you to pick and choose the type of, the type of um, charts you wanna run. And you can change the coloring. So pick your different colors, change the barcodes, you can select specific data points. Uh, these are all uh, very useful features within uh, the Aqua Data Studio for sharing your data. So one, once you have your, your charts displayed, you can go ahead and then just, uh, you can name them, you can uh, tab the colors, uh, you can share it uh, if you go to file, and you can export, so you can export as an image, HTML, PDF, uh, even in an Excel table so that you can disseminate it within your organization. All right, so um, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and uh, show you how you can access your SQL history. So let me just... So from here, from the tool, what you're gonna do is you're going to go ahead and come up to your query. And if you scroll down, you have SQL history. And then from the SQL history, uh, you would click on that and that will go ahead and bring you up a window of all your SQL that you've been running. Uh, you, from here, you can rerun 
any of the, the queries that are here listed. Uh, you can choose the max history, how many you would like. Uh, you can uh, auto-archive it. So if you want, you can go to your SQL archive. You can do a search by uh, beginning time and end time. So for example, if you're required to pull up a SQL that you ran for somebody last week, and you just really can't remember what it was that you had done, then you can go in here, do a quick search, and pull up that SQL history from that time frame, and then you can go ahead and execute it again. Again, you have your SQL history here, and all you would need to do is just select the SQL query you want, double click on it, it will populate it in your query window, and then from there you can go ahead and execute it. So those are some of the, the features within Aqua Data Studio that allows you to uh, improve on your SQL queries. All right. Um, well, I appreciate everybody's time, and I hope that you got some benefit out of the demonstration today.